why I ever even moved to the US in the first place. I'm Vanessa Canby and in this video I'm chatting to three people who have made the move from America to Ghana. They've all moved for very different reasons and I want to find out why they've moved and if they're enjoying their time. So how long have you been living in Ghana? Almost three years. And but I've been coming for almost ten. And where did you move from? I moved from the States, Washington, D.C. So what made you decide to move to Ghana? Well, I had been coming. So the first time I came was 2009, and I did like a volunteer program in the Volta region, and I really loved it. Um, but I went back to the States. I worked, I took some time, and then um, I decided that I was really going to try and make a life here in 2013. So like I quit my job, and I just came, and I contacted people that I knew, and I just started meeting other people. and. Um, Went back and forth a few times and finally made the transition in 2017. That's amazing. And how has it been since? It's been good. You know, there are um, ups and downs, pros and cons to every place, but um, I've committed myself to, no matter what, making it work here. Um, yeah. It's just really important to me. I think Ghana is a very beautiful place, a very important place for people in the world, um, for Africans on the continent and, um, you know, outside of the continent. So I just, yeah, I, I have to be here right now. So do you have family from Ghana? I don't have family from Ghana um, in the sense that, like my lineage, but okay. I have a son and my partner is also Ghanaian. Oh. Right, yeah. so are you African American? Yes. Yeah, I was born and raised here up until middle school and then I moved to the US for high school and college. So kind of like half and half. I lived half of my life here and then half in the US as well. And then did you decide to move back to Ghana? Yeah, I moved back to Ghana like a year and a half ago. Ghana is really beautiful. Um, I find myself creating the best content. I find myself reconnecting and just, I don't know, I guess like reflecting on why I ever even moved to the U.S. in the first place. So like, I think my mom moved to the U.S. because she wanted greener, greener pastures and she wanted a better life. But then moving back to Ghana, I feel like I found myself. And I've been able to accomplish and done so much. I've had so many opportunities coming back home. So it's just like the place I was trying to avoid going back, this is the place that's literally serving me and growing me and shaping me into the person that I am. So it's really beautiful, yeah. What brought you to Ghana and what is some of the work you're doing here? All right, so I lived in Cameroon for six years and unfortunately I had to leave so I went back to the United States and uh, reached out and they came out uh, doing agriculture nonprofit work, teaching cocoa farmers, mixed cropping, how to intercrop plants inside their cocoa farms to help better the yields and organic methods of fertilizer, insecticides, and pesticides. And have you found it to be like a successful uh, project? Yeah, so I've been, I, I reached, I uh, came to Ghana in June of this year, and currently I'm working in three different villages with roughly 150 farmers in the Volta region, just north of Ho, and I'm traveling back to the United States today, actually, and they said when I come back, hopefully we'll have 10 to 20,000 nurse cocoa seedlings using improved methods and all organic fertilizer, so. That's so amazing. <laughs> I'm like really into like or eating <laughs> right. organic, and you were also talking about somebody you know who's made a house out of Tires. Right, yeah, so one of our sister organizations we're working with in, on the other side of Ghana in Pechiman, just north of Kumasi, a few hours, the Ghana Permaculture Institute. Uh, his name is Paul, he's a fascinating individual. He took a uh, quarry where they used all of the, the dirt to build the roads, uh, one of the major highways here in Ghana, and has turned it into basically a majestic uh, a gardener's paradise. So he's using permaculture methods. Um, he has houses built out of tires. He has a plastic house. It's 100% solar, so, solar um, brand. So yeah, and they do a lot of moringa farming. Around there, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely need to go there <laughs> and literally, like, my dream is to have a completely sustainable house here in Ghana. Oh, um, wow! Well, so Paul that's is, where I need to go. <laughs> yeah, Paul is the guy. To, Paul is the guy to talk to. Mm -hmm. So it's the Ghana Permaculture Institute, and they they make uh, moringa oil, moringa soap, uh, cocoa butter, uh, so many different products. Mm -hmm. From and again, it's all all natural, all organic. Great. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> 
thanks so much for watching this video i have a follow-up video to this one coming out so don't forget to hit that subscribe button i have a full hour long interview with jacob thanks so much and see you soon